here's image number one. Okay, um, this was in Randall's Island. We were the ball boy team. Um, we, um, the International Soccer League was founded by um, Bill Cox in, the, in 1960. And uh, I, don't, I forgot who picked the, 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 the best players uh, from the tri-state area. And we played the uh, preliminary games before uh, teams like uh, uh, Duke La Praga, Panguo Brazil, West Ham United, Panathinaikos, Real Oviedo, uh, Kilmarnock, Everton, Belenenses. Well, we saw some of the great soccer and some of the great players. So um, we had, we had a, an excellent team, and most of them went to really top colleges. Uh, Bernie Fusick, the goalie, went to um, NYU. Um, Vasilyauskas and uh, Myron Uda went to Navy. Um, Carlos Ramontozzi and Marcello Launi went to um, uh, LIU. Um, <laughs> Nick Stilka went to the University of uh, Maryland. Did you guys win the championship? Or? We were in a final four. We were in a final four. Yeah. So, um, uh, Jerry Paveca was also on the team, um, and, and, and it, was, it was just incredible. Uh, we played the preliminary games. Paul Garner was telling me last night, who wanted to see the ball boys? Well, look, a lot of people wanted to see the ball boys. <laughs> and then after the, the, uh, the, the main event. Right, Paul? Uh, <laughs> we were talking about that last night. Anyway, um, here we were playing the Uric Truckers. That's the Uric Truckers from, uh, from uh, Pennsylvania. That was always a, 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 a very good team. And uh, this is a picture, uh, this is me, believe it or not. When I was young, I was 20 years old. Um, this is Peter Bernatsky who uh, played for the uh, Ukrainians. Uh, Jimmy McCarroll. Jimmy McCarroll, who uh, played for Carney. Uh, and uh, this was a 24th Infantry Division soccer team. And uh, the Army wanted a team in, in Germany. Freundschaft uh, Sport, friendship for sport. But it was really never friends because we were always, uh, uh, sometimes we would beat them four or five nothing and, 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 and the German uh, players were so pissed that an American team would, uh, would beat them. But all of us were foreigners. All of us were foreigners. And, and uh, all we did was play soccer. We got up in the morning, had breakfast. We practiced from 10 to 11.30, had lunch, had a nap, practiced from 3 to 4.30. And then after that, we were off to, uh, to town, to Augsburg. To uh, have some coffee and and, uh, and 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 a couple of beers as well. But uh, this was very big in those days. Uh, the, the, uh, the army soccer and, and the 24th Infantry was really a, an excellent team. Uh, here, uh, this was the Palais Soccer Camps. Oh, on my 40 years coaching soccer or being involved in soccer. Um, to me, this was the, un the most unbelievable experience. We had 350 kids per, uh, per session, and uh, Pelé and I did all the demonstrations. So, you know, when I first heard about Pelé, I was in Costa Rica. They went to play uh, uh, Saprisa, Saprisa against, uh, against uh, against Santos, and uh, for me, it was unbelievable. I mean, people talk about Maradona, all these guys. Pelé, at age 17, scored three goals against France in the semifinals of the World Cup. In the finals, at age 17, Pelé scores <coughs> two goals against Sweden. What 17-year-old ever do that? Nobody. All right, so to me, you know, he, he's just unbelievable. Here we are in Japan. We went twice to give clinics in, 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 in Japan. And uh, we were there for a week. 
And here they, they, they treated Pelé, I mean, they gave me flowers too because I was part of it, but I mean, it was really good Pelé. So this is a, a great picture because we, we had a, uh, every day we had a staff game. The kids ate at five o'clock, so then in order for them to digest their food, uh, we played, uh, uh, the staff played at 6.15, 6.30, and we played, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes, and they're interviewing us here because the opposing team was winning one nothing, and uh, maybe about 10 minutes to go, Pelé was playing in the goal, by the way, Pelé was playing goal. <laughs> and and uh, I play left wing, that's all I had. I only had a left foot, I couldn't do anything with the right foot. So I dribbled on the left side, I saw Pelé coming out, and I chipped it over his head. And you know, I was, I went over to him and, and I kissed him, I said, Pelé, you were lucky, you were lucky, because you know, he, he, even though it was a, pra a, a practice game, he always took it seriously. So here he's telling me that, that I was very lucky. <laughs> this picture, uh, does anybody know who this little guy is? Girl. Huh? Uh, girl. He's uh, Casillas? No. Iker Casillas, yeah. oh. when he was 14 years old. Uh, Real Madrid went to the uh, uh, Mundialito Tawichi in 1996, <coughs> and uh, Real Madrid was, was, uh, was, uh, was there. And uh, I was always with him. And I said, this kid is going to be unbelievable. So I took a lot of pictures of, 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 of Iker. And uh, at age 14, I mean, he could fly all over the place. And uh, later on, when he was playing for the national team of, uh, of Spain, um, a friend of mine who worked for the Federation, he, he came. And I think they, were, they played uh, Ireland, I think it was, at, at Yankee Stadium. And, and uh, I told my friend, do you think uh, Ike would like to have a, uh, an album of, 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 all my, of all the pictures that I took of him? He said, sure, sure. So I, I gave it to him, and, and you know, he was so happy. Um, so uh, age 14, and we knew he was going to be a, 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 a great player. Well, you put this one up too. <laughs> this was uh, this this made uh, headlines all over the world. Um, I get a call from the, uh, the, the the president of the Puerto Rican Federation, Arnie. I just fired the coach of, of Puerto Rico, uh, um, uh, Victor. I forgot his last name. I just fired him, and all the players said. If you don't bring them back, we're not going to play for Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico was getting ready to play the first game of of the uh, of, of the World Cup, the the, the uh, what do you call it? Qualification. The qualifications Qualification. of the World Cup. And and so I called the Guido Toglioni from FIFA, and he says to me, uh, and I said, Guido, I, 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 who can play for the Puerto Rican national team? And he goes anybody who has the passport of the country. So I said, well, the passport of the Puerto Ricans is United States, believe it or not, even though a lot of <coughs> Americans don't know that Puerto Rico is part of the United States. So, so uh, uh, I, I, I got a team together, I got a team together. We practiced at FIU in, in the gymnasium. We wore a, a winter coats. Uh, <laughs> because we're going to go and play Dominican Republic in about 30 days. And uh, this is the team that, that uh, this guy, Chris McCarroll, oh, yeah. played for uh, Baltimore. Do you know who this guy is? He's a president of one of the teams. No? He's a president of Toronto. Bill Manny. Bill Manny. When, when, when he was given an award last year, Bill Manning goes, can you believe my, my parents, they couldn't understand. Here I am, an Irish boy, I'm playing for an Italian team, Brooklyn Italians, 
and I played for the Puerto Rican national team. <laughs> that, that was unbelievable. Anyway, so uh, uh, this is uh, Ramiro Borja. Uh, Chico Borja's uh, uh, brother. This kid, Paulesa, Italian, German, Peruvian. We had all different nationalities. Uh, and uh, this is me when I was young. So, so we go to Dominican Republic. It, it's too bad I only have uh, two minutes because it's an unbelievable story. We go to Dominican Republic and, uh, and we beat them one, two. We beat them one, two. The, the whole world, the, the press was there. Everybody from BBC, The Guardian, even uh, uh, one of the soccer uh, journals was, was also there with us. And for the first time ever, Puerto Rico wins a, uh, a game, uh, a, a qualifying game. So uh, that, that was something I never got paid, by the way, because I didn't care. I, I, I worked at LIU. And I did it for free, you know. And all and all the guys, we had a Stan Kozia. Where is he? Where's Stan? Stan uh, I guess he didn't even make the picture. But Stan Kozia was part of that team as well. And and uh, Stan it, it went to Loyola University. So uh, this one, uh, during the summers, I would go to uh, to watch the training sessions. I used to go. Uh, Miguel Munoz was a good friend of my father-in-law. And he came to our wedding, Miguel Munoz. And then when I became a coach at, at, at NYU, uh, I used to go to all the training sessions of, of Real Madrid. But then uh, this one is when, when um, Menotti was coaching Atletico Madrid. So I, I had met a Menotti when he gave us a, a talk for the Pelé soccer camp staff. And I had to do the translation. Well, I went to see him in, in Segovia. And then, when he became coach of Mexico uh, during the World Cup '94, he got fired eventually. But he says to me, "Arnold, the World Cup is is going to be a total loss." Said, what do you mean? Nobody's going to go to the games. Said, Look, when Bolivia, I used, I, I was the uh, team liaison for Bolivia. When Bolivia plays South Korea, it's going to be packed. And they're all, it's going to be packed. No, no. Beckenbauer and I were in front of the, uh, the uh, Plaza Hotel. Not one person wanted our autographs. Not one person took a picture. It's going to be terrible. So I take, uh, I take him to Macy's. He wants to get some, uh, some um, jeans and, and some shirts. So I take him to Macy's, and he goes, uh, <coughs> I, 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 it was a, a, a Latin person. I said, do you know who he is? Yes, Mr. Fittipaldi. He goes, okay. I said, oh, che, nadie me conoce. Nobody knows me. So then what I did was uh, I took him to El Faro, which was a, uh, one of my favorite Spanish restaurants. I, had, I took uh, coach matches there a couple of times. And uh, there, all the Spaniards, they all knew him. In those days, you could smoke. I didn't smoke, but he, he didn't have cigarettes. So he must, he must have asked about 15 people while we were there for cigarettes, because he was a chain smoker. So, Cesar uh, Menotti, great person, great coach. This is, I think, an historic picture. And, and I, I, I told Garvin, I, you know, you, you should have this picture in the, in the, MLS, uh, in the MLS office. Um, um, Sunil Gulati was in charge of, uh, of, of, of uh, doing the league, uh, the MLS. And uh, <clears throat> these were the evaluators for the, uh, to start Major League Soccer. Our head coach was Linus Mikkels, the guy over there. And uh, these were the, uh, the evaluators, Dan Gaspar, <coughs> Uh, Ricky Davis, Bob Gasler, Luis, um, Luis Balboa, uh, <laughs> I, put, I, I put it here because I forget, Dave Sarakin, and uh, Tim Hackinson. It was a, 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 a great group. They were about, uh, I think we were there for about a week, and uh, 
and he said to us, uh, Mr. Uh, Rimos, he says, you have to pick the best average players, because they're all average. <laughs> and then when he saw the players, he comes to us and he says, these are the amateur players. When are the professional players going to come? So we told them, no, that, that's what it is. That's what we have. So, you know, I, I believe that this is really a... And a lot of these guys eventually uh, went into the pros. I never cared. I always wanted to have a secure job. I wanted to be at LIU with no problems. Unfortunately, a new athletic director comes. The first year he couldn't fire me because uh, we went to the playoffs. The second year we didn't do as well. He calls me down and he says, Arnie, you're fired. I said, what? No, I want you to resign. I said, what? Resign? I've been here 20 F years. You've been here two years. I'm not resigned while well, you're fired. So I got fired. And, and uh, <laughs> I figured I was going to finish at LIU. Well, never did. I was very depressed for six months. But then I started coaching women's soccer, just like uh, my friend John over there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is... Uh, 25 years. The other two guys, I don't know, they, they were from England. Any, any of you guys know them? They were from England, so I don't know them. Okay, here... Um, when the, when the, uh, the draft came up, Six of our guys from LIU were, uh, were drafted. Uh, Chinupu was drafted, uh, Mickey Kaidis, Giovanni Saadese, who, who, by the way, when he, when he came to LIU, or when he came to the, to the uh, combine, he was not in very good shape. And, uh, and, 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 and the, uh, Sunil said to me, Arnie, talk to the coaches because I don't think uh, Saurese is, is, is such a good player. So, so I told him, I said, look, the guy can put the ball in. So finally, in the 24th round, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, what was the name of the team before the Red Bulls? Metro uh, Stars. Huh? Metro Stars. <laughs> the Metro Stars pick him. And then the first game, he scored. I don't know if he scored one or two. And, and, and the Natsu Neal, but the other guy, uh, uh, from from uh, California, the guy he, he was. Uh, huh? He, no, he was in charge of uh, of the World Cup. Rothenberg. Rothenberg. Yeah. He calls me and he gives me a big kiss. He says, "Arnie, oh, that's great. That's how easy they talk." Singapore, poor poor time All American, um, played for the New York Cosmos, yeah. and uh, I also coached uh, Joey Fink. Joey, Joey, and uh, Richard played for the Baltimore Blast. Richard had a shot like 120 miles an hour. It was unbelievable. Joey was a top scorer. The guy over here, the guy over here, yeah. he doesn't like to be in pictures. Does anybody know who he is? <laughs> Paul Gardner. <laughs> Paul Gardner. <laughs> Paul Gardner. <laughs> Can uh, I take that picture, Arnie? Because I thought I took that picture. Uh, Can I take that picture? Maybe. I think so. Maybe you took yeah. it. Yeah, at yeah, one of the Cosmos. Yeah. Uh, at one of the Cosmos festivals. So the, 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 these two guys played for the Baltimore Blast, and the other um, was Chris Vaccaro, who played for us uh, on, the, on, on the Puerto Rican national team. So uh, uh, this was a Puerto Rican national team. Um, this, this is Chris Vaccaro here. This is Chris Vaccaro. Um, George Nazario. George Nazario, who played for, yeah, for, for Carney. And uh, uh, this is Chico's brother. And, and uh, thank God we didn't put that picture. The, the vice president of, uh, of uh, or no, the president of CONCACAF was also there with us. What was his name? Oh, uh, back from Trinidad. Jack Warner. Yeah, Jack Warner was there, you know. And Hardy, you guys are doing great. We went from. Uh, 201, and we, 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 we ended up 90, 97 in, in, the, in the ranking. So that was, uh, I mean, we beat Barbados 2 nothing. We beat uh, St. Martin. We beat, uh, I think we tied Trinidad. And we, we, we had a nice run. We couldn't, we couldn't get by, uh, by Jamaica. Jamaica scored two goals offside in Jamaica, and we lost, we lost 2 to 1. 
and then we tied in, <laughs> in, in uh, no, we lost one nothing in, 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 uh, in Puerto Rico. But uh, all these guys, they love the game. I have an unbelievable story to tell you, but of course we, we don't have that, that much time, right? That's it. We got one last image here. Oh, 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 this, I have to be so thankful to this man because, you know, I went to NYU as a freshman. Carlo was supposed to come to NYU also, but I don't know, he did, uh, he, he, I don't know, he did, he, you, didn't, you did something wrong. Your, your application, I don't know what the heck you did with the application. I don't know. They wrote it in Italian or something. I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, I always kept in touch with Carlo while I was in, in Germany. And then when I went to see him, when LIU played uh, NYU, after the game, I said, oh, Carlo, how are you doing, Lord? I've been reading about you guys in, in the Stars and Stripes in, in Germany. You know, LIU doing so well in 66 and 67 with Coach Matchley. So I said, uh, you know, introduce. So he introduced me to him, and uh, I got his scholarship. I fought out of NYU because the coach told me to major in, in business. I only passed English, speech, and history. English, speech, and history. I, the, the rest of the, the, the rest, I did terrible. So they had majored in physical education, and that's what I wanted. And uh, thanks to Coach Bashnik uh, and Carlo. Um, I have 40 great years, except maybe the last two at LIU with, with, uh, with the athletic director, but uh, right. again, I want to thank you. All right, thank you. Guys.